how's it going everybody? Jacob Lundquist here from JLQ Knives and I have a little emphasis on the little um, first look and I'm going to do a tear down give you my first impressions um, and my take on the Fox Cutlery Fox Knives Baby Core Mini Liner Lock. I have the uh, blue FRN. I got the nice stone wash. I'll run over some quick specs for you. This is a five and three quarter inches overall. Blade length just two and three eighths. Cutting edge is two and a quarter. Got a little choil here. Um, blade width is um, yeah, like a hundred thou. This is, I believe, yeah, Boulder N690. Um, a really nice big belly there. Clip point, uh, almost looks like a sheep's foot. Um, big, full, flat, really nice stone wash. I mean, it has a really, really nice look to it, actually. Um, fun little guy, nice little wire clip. I just got this in today. Um, it's a liner lock, like I said. Nice little tab. You can roll it out with your thumb. I've been trying to spidey flick it, and I just can't, can't quite get it. Nope, nope, not gonna happen um, for me. But yeah, you can reverse the pocket clip back and forth. Um, thing is wicked sharp uh, I'll do some quick here's me cutting some paper um, holy moly that edge is awesome wow well done this is my uh, first box knives I just thought uh, kind of come off my Instagram I was like oh that looks like a really fun knife they didn't really have any scale pictures um, they just had you know the knife and I went oh got it in I'm like yeah that that is when they say mini or baby I'm sorry when they say baby yeah, they weren't joking. That is a tiny little knife. Um, but nice, lightweight, FRN handles, like I said. Really great action. Kind of fun to do a push button too. You just push it straight down. Fires every time. Nice little detent. Um, I mean, just one little shake. Has just like the perfect weight. Nice job, guys. Wow. Um, if you're in the market for something small, this thing on Blade HQ right now, um, MSRP is 120. This is 69.95, 70 bucks. Um, got it to my door, and uh, yeah, fun little piece. Emphasis on little again. But I kind of wanted to take it apart. Um, I'm actually doing my own knife design, and I kind of want to see how they did the liners here. I like um, the wire clip. I'm kind of thinking about that on my knife as well. So I'm just kind of doing this is a little research project as well. So let's dive right in. Um, so this was, I believe, T8. It might be free spinning. I see double here. I'm gonna start on the uh, clip side here. Let's see what happens. It came out, that's actually coming out really nice. Nothing wrong with that. Definitely felt like there was some blue Loctite in there. Yeah, and there was definitely a little bit of, a little bit of Loctite. No big deal there. And I think you have to take the clip off um for this to come out so let's start with here i think these thread through the backspacer into into your other side I'll take out the one and see what happens here and oh yeah a little bit of a little bit of blue lockta on that one as well The birds chirping. I'm in my new office studio right now. Got the window open. It's a beautiful day. Just got done with work. Well, I'm actually technically still working. Um, doing some renders. Whoa! She shot out of there. So a nice little wire clip. Something simple. A couple fasteners, and then that should be all she wrote. Take off the pressure. Definitely push the pivot out. There we go. We go. Oh yeah, again, it's running on bearings. Okay. It is a D pivot. Well done. They got a little D in the uh, liner there. So Fox, thank you. Scared me a little bit when I saw the double, but. 
expect not to worry. Yeah, so they have a full liner here on the on the show side. Everything goes right through it. Simple backspacer. Yeah, that's that's metal of some kind. I don't have a magnet to see. What does it say here on the website right now? Uh, it says reinforced. No, 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 open smooth. It said something about it's just blue handle with gray backspacer. But it doesn't say what the backspacer is made out of. Yeah, I can't quite tell. Definitely metallic of some sort. So here's the injection molded. There's all the stop pins and gates and yeah, but it's it's a really fun pattern. I like it. A little bit of relief there for your liner. Your over travel stop. Huh. Pretty simple. Stop pin. Very cool. Nested bearings, steel cage. So yeah, got a little EDCI, might as well just, yeah, it's brand spanking new, but you know what? Why not just clean it up a little bit, right? Take care of everything. Long trip from Italy. So yeah, this is kind of fun. For me, it's really fun to see how these things are made. The design engineer, designer, love to see. Any of you guys like just love to take things apart, all that fun stuff. So that's what I that's why I enjoy this so much. I mean, bearings are like <laughs> brand new. Wash them off a little bit. Microfiber. And put her back together again. So, either the D pivot. Let's just look at the way the D goes. I have been trying KPL. Um, I think I like it. I think I like it. I wonder why the two holes. Anybody, any, anybody know why the two holes on the blade? I mean, one is for the the uh, the detent ball. Got a little bit of a detent ramp. But I don't know. All right, we're gonna. I think I found. That, yeah, I used to use a lot of more nano oil, and I'm definitely finding. Um, I think I like nano oil a little bit better. This stuff just seems to come out really fast. And I did watch some videos and putting the cages to the inside, the open side, so it um, gets less gunk and stuff in it. I don't know if it works, but it sounds good to me, right? Make sure everything fits together. Pins go in. It really has a good, tight feel. I do like that. Got a little bit of Loctite over here, but I don't even know. Let's put a little bit on the, just the tip. Get this going, so. A little less dangerous. Come on. Wait a second, didn't I put, hmm, I did just remember that I pushed that through this side, not that side. I don't know how much that really matters, but. cross thread these things. Be nice and careful. Just gonna snug it up. This one is kind of a bummer that you have to take your uh, 
the clip out. But such a small knife. I mean, what else would you do? I do appreciate, big appreciation right here. Everything's T8. I love it when companies do that. And it's a struggle. As I've been designing mine, it's a struggle to find the fasteners you want um, and the sizes you want. I'm never, also, it's a struggle to get this screw in. How the what? Honestly, I've never done a never done a wire clip before. Maybe you just get it started a little bit, and then you can kind of. There you go. So get it started, shimmy it in there, tighten it up. Tight, tight, snug. So go, and I just kind of bring it back just a hair. Check centering, she's not centered. Oh boy. Snug these up too much. Centering looks better. That looks better. She's still a, sh a hair out. Not quite happy with that yet. That's the fun. This thing was pretty perfectly centered, so I know it's possible. It's favoring the uh, clip side. Tight. Blade play. I'm gonna go a little bit looser than that. That's a little. There we go. There we go. Centered. What do you guys think? The baby core. Fox baby core. I, I kind of like it. Um, it's definitely small, but very nice, lightweight, and uh, this could be a, just a fun, simple carry. You can get you can get four fingers on it if you if you want the troils. Not, not too sharp right here. Definitely a three finger grip. Um, nice little jimping on the back spacer here for a little bit more. As for feel, it's not too bad. Wire clip digs in a little bit, but it kind of goes right in the crease of your hand there. So you don't really feel it as much. Um, really nice for you know cutting open packages, stuff like that. You get your, your finger up there. This would be the, the Ben special, right? Um, what is up, guys? So, what is up with the baby core? I like it. I like it. Not bad at all. So there you go. There's my take. Quick first impressions. Um, probably won't be doing a full review on this guy, but more little videos like this where you can just get a quick taste of, of the uh, what's new and upcoming. So. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a great day, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.